Hey guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here, and today I'm going to show you the base that got me 656 trophies on defense in 15 hours. I've never, ever, ever, ever seen a base that's got me that many trophies in that little amount of time. I did a video on one that got me 331 trophies in 24 hours, but this, got, well, this one got me over double that, or just about double that, 656. You can count it for yourself up here. I lost twice. But it's worth it, and I was down at uh, gold one, uh, 1,900 trophies. I dropped there, and then I got back up uh, overnight, 2,543 trophies currently, which is absolutely crazy. We're going to look at some of the defensive replays. You can see that my attack log is all full of just drops. So he's going to be attacking with a few troops. It looks like he's going to be using Balloonian and a few drags here. All of his balloons are just going towards the center of the base. And this is primarily an air defense base. Not making a troll video on this one, but it's just a really, really cool base that works out for people that are trying to get that Town Hall and trying to actually get that Dark Elixir. What really helped me out on that one was the Dark Elixir, and a lot of low levels are trying to get that stuff. So, um, overall, I thought that was pretty cool. Dragon is going to be dropped, and all these balloons are just going to die out from the Inferno Towers and the air defenses that are just in the center of the base. Trying to Lightning Spell that Town Hall, not going to work out for him, so 10%. And I just can't believe how many trophies I got on defense. If you guys want to try this base out, it might work out. Definitely in Crystal, Masters, um, or Gold, Silver, something like that. But not in Champions. Champions are just too smart for that. So we're just going to look through this next one. And this attack is on the outside of my base. So this works on the inside. This base works from the inside and the outside, usually on Tier 1 troops. So definitely not going to work against something like Golems or Pekka's. But he's going to just test out some of the traps down here. You, you can see all of the gravestones. I haven't been on overnight. But I got raided about 20 times overnight, which is absolutely astounding. And now he's going to attack from the outside since he knows he can't get to that Dark Elixir. Some barbarians and goblins to follow up. He thought some of the loot was in there. Uh, but unfortunately, it was not. So we're just going to speed it up just a little bit. Uh, definitely, Expos reached the inside of the core and on the outside. So most of the defenses are focused on both areas of the base. Uh, 10 seconds here, he's gonna get 13%, 9,000 gold and 10,000 elixir, that's gonna end uh, the raid. I gained around 19 trophies off of that one, now let's look at another replay that was actually attacked from the inside of the base here and with ground troops. So we're gonna look at this barbarian raid, He's going to go in deciding what to do, as you can see the 3, 2, 1 countdown. He's going to just spam as many troops as he can in the center of the base. So we're going to see how this works out for him, Rage Spell uh, right there. You can see that the Teslas are popping out. My King is going to die out here from all of those Barbarians. There's so many defenses just shooting at all of those Barbarians. And that's what I really, really, really like about it, is that the defenses from the outside also shoot the inside of the base. So that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for the short one. Um, I, there, I just had to do a double upload today, so I had to sort of like split it up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome base. Got me 656 defense, uh, defensive trophies. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. On the rail, homie, on the rail, tell me how you feel Everything I spit is gold, like I got a grill Bet you people talking, thought I'd sell out once I got a deal Still me and my team, only difference, we live in the hills We live in the